Okay, it's the sand dollar here today. Uh, it is the Wednesday the 24th, 6.35 a.m. down here at the beach metal detecting. Uh, we got some major rain coming here in an hour or two hours and all day tomorrow and the rest of today. So today I'm running my MX Sport and my stainless steel sand scoop and my land and sea pinpointer uh, by Gold Digger. Want to talk to you about Sunday. I came down here Sunday at, uh, evening to uh, change my hours of metal detection because a lot of competition on the beach. And I'm still a little rattled by it. I um, was down here, got here about quarter to six Sunday after, uh, evening and I started metal detecting and uh, I was working this one area up to this one sports bar probably about a two block area so within 20 minutes here's come this other metal detector a local guy uh, so he come up behind me I stopped and talked to him for a minute and told him you know I staked out this area here up to the sports bar that I'm gonna do you know and uh, so not no more and sooner I said that he walked real fast and jumped in front of me and and went ahead and started metal detecting the area I was working so you know I said fine I turned around started going back the other direction uh, heading north at the point I started so here's come two other metal detectors behind me so I talked to them for a few minutes and so then they started detecting right next to me I mean within 10 feet one on the left one on the right so, you know, I told him, I said, dude, you know, we got eight miles of beach, man. Why do you got to crowd me out? And uh, they said, well, you know, we're, we're just down here vacation. We're only going to be here a couple days. I said, so what does it matter? Show respect and move on down the beach, you know? And uh, they didn't. So I turned around, I said, fine, you know, I might as well just give up because I ain't going to find nothing, which I didn't. So here come the first guy. He come back and I said, you know, and I jumped his ass big time, you know, and here he, he, he showed me everything he found in the area that I was getting ready to work. Here he come up with five or six dollars and quarters. Well, you know, that's gas money to me. But the point I'm trying to make, I mean, show some respect. You know, I don't care if you're down here vacationing or not, you know. You know, just just show some respect. You know, Bosia up there in North Carolina, and she detector in Clearwater Beach. I don't know if you two have the same problem on y'all's beach as I do here, but you know, this is getting ridiculous. I mean, act like a professional. I know when I run into another metal detector person, you know, I give him at least two or three hundred feet, and I go in the opposite direction that he's going. You know, show some respect. And there again, I've talked to a few other metal detectors about this guy on the bicycle. And here, I haven't seen him do it, but here what he's been doing is riding the beach, throwing out sandbags where he hits targets, and going a quarter mile down the beach to start metal and coming back to the sandbags that he threw out. Well, a couple of the other local metal detectives, I guess, got in a confrontation with the guy over it. And, uh, you know, they're, they're out to get him, man, you know. So, I don't know if he watches my videos, but there's a, he's pissed off a lot of people. So, anyway, let me get to hunting and see what I find. And as long as it don't lightning and thunder, I'm going to stay out here because... I need to find some targets, but I'll let you know if I hit one. Okay, I come across, I think, a coin spill. And I don't know if you can see my piles there around this hole. And there's still a couple more targets in the hole. But so far, my first one's a penny. So we'll search uh, the rest of them and see what I come up with. But I think it's a coin spill. 
they're all registering high on my detector so let's see what we find Okay, that was a dime. That pile there didn't have nothing. But that was a dime. Okay, there's still something in this hole that my detector's picking up. And it is another penny. So, two pennies and a dime so far. I guess that's it. So, all right, let's go you know, hit another target. Okay, I just come across a crusted old penny. Uh, been there a while too. Probably about six inches deep. So, uh, now at least it's a target anyway, man. And it's crusted pretty good. So clean it up it's a new clad penny well got another metal detector it came up from behind me about half hour ago and i don't know if you can see him down there or not it's pretty far away he worked the dune area and i'm working the area close to the shoreline where everybody parks their cars but at least he's not crowding me out you know i mean I'm still mystified by what happened Sunday. I just couldn't believe it, but oh well. But uh, he's running a uh, bounty, uh, a bounty hunter, and uh, you know, so I don't know how long he's been metal detecting. I've never seen him before here on the beach, so maybe he's a newbie. But anyway, let's know if he hit another target. Something. Must be deep because he's digging, digging, digging. I hope it ain't nothing good. <laughs> but anyway, talking about that metal detector guy on the bicycle, you know, to give more detail about it, what he's doing is throwing sandbags off as he hits a target and then going away for about four city blocks and, uh, detecting where he threw his first sandbag off and coming back to the other ones that he threw off to mark targets. Well, I guess a couple of the other metal detectors seen him and uh, what they did was they went and dug up his targets and uh, the old man on the bicycle seen him. So he come back and give him a hard time about it and they got an argument. Well, you know, my opinion, you walk away or drive away a city block away from a target just because you threw a sandbag there, too bad. You should have dug it up right then and there. 
and that's what those other guys did they dug up his target and uh so i guess there was a big argument about it but there again you know i mean you find a target you dig it up you walk away even 100 feet away from that target it's fair game in my opinion so i mean i haven't seen the old man on the bicycle do that but you know what the way he's raping the beach you know if i do see him do that i might consider doing that myself because it's ridiculous so anyway i'll let you know if i hit a target okay I just come across another penny memorial buried about six inches deep 1978 uh i see this other metal detector Oh, here he goes. He's working his way back. I'll be damned if he didn't jump right in front of me here. Knowing that I'm working my way down there. This is the kind of bullshit I got to put up with all the time. So. Oh, well, ain't nothing I can do about it. Just disrespectful, though. But. Oh, well, let's know if hit another target. Okay, I just come across a quarter. Probably my only quarter I find today is about four inches deep. So I'll let you know if I hit another target. Okay, I just come across another penny. Uh, it's about uh, six inches deep. It's crust, it's been there a while. Uh, I think it's a clad, new clad, is what I think. No, it's a memorial. But anyway, I'll let you know if I hit another target. I talked to that other metal detector person that was worked his way back to me and it was a lady. She is running a bounty hunter. She's just starting. She's only been doing it maybe oh maybe a year off and on. So I told her if she had any questions I'd try to help her out, you know. But she seemed like a nice lady. So anyway I'll let you know if I hit another target. Okay, let's come across another penny about four inches deep. It's really, really crusted. It's a clad, modern clad, but it's been there a while because it's crusted bad. Of course, these new clad pennies don't take long to crust up and corrode. All right, we'll let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I just come across another penny about four inches deep, and it is really crusted. It's a memorial, I can see that, but I'm definitely going to have to soak that in some vinegar. All right, I'll let you know if we hit another target. Okay, I'm going to do a wrap up here. I found a quarter dime seven pennies bottle cap one of them industrial folder clips and three little toys that was it for my hunt for today uh, my battery's getting low on my machine uh, I'm below half and I don't like to run anything less than half because you get weak signals or slow on picking up so uh, I'm going to change my batteries and get ready for the weekend, Monday's hunt, maybe Sunday's hunt, who knows. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please don't forget to have your spouse spayed or neutered. Thank you. God bless you.